all right guys welcome back to the channel today we have a special treat for you we're gonna do a solo trip to Boca Chita which is about 42 43 miles away from my marina here and we're gonna spend three days uh, well actually it's four because uh, you count Sunday hey, I'll be leaving today Thursday and I'll be back Sunday and uh, we're gonna bring you along so you can enjoy that trip with us and see how awesome it is here in South Florida stay tuned all right guys as expected the weather pattern for the next four or five days is awesome perfectly and if you look at that flag up there it's hardly moving and the uh, weather is about uh, 10 to 15 percent of rain for the next several days and the winds are approximately between four to eight and i think the highest being eight all the next four days so stay tuned and here we go guys here we are we're taking off from the marina so this is uh, the start of our trip to Boca Chita this is the first trip we're having going to Boca Chita in over 10 12 years I used to go there a lot all the time and uh, I have a full tank of gas everything else looks good and um, stay tuned for more so it's gonna be a lot more today peace
for the uh, uh, bridge for US-1 next to Gilbert's resort. Uh, we're approaching that now, and then uh, after we pass that, we should be getting to the next bridge, which is uh, Card Sound Bridge. So, I think we're about one third of the way, approximately, a little bit less. There we have Gilbert's Resort. That's the little beach there. It's an awesome place to come have some uh, lunch or dinner there. And uh, the beach is awesome as well. And uh, right here, that's the bridge for US-1. That's the bridge that enters the Florida Keys. On well, one of them, there's a second one, but this was the, the prime one. This is the primary bridge to enter the Keys. area here you have to go idle speed until you pass the bridge once you pass the bridge then you can pick up speed again and uh, and after that I think it's pretty much straightforward all the way through the winds are still awesome it's staying within super perfect uh, conditions so the, the seas are all nice and flat so everything is working out pretty good the way I expected at least so far all right we're about to pass the bridge here and we'll get back to you in a few minutes
Point nuclear plant, and uh, we're in Biscayne Bay. I can already see the uh, downtown Miami high rises. I can see them already on the horizon. So we're really, really close to Boca Chica now. I just gotta watch my markers here because there is some uh, shallow areas around both sides of this section here. So I gotta watch out for that. But uh, we're almost there. We are now entering the Boca Chira channel and we have Boca Chira straight ahead and you must maintain yourself between the two markers there because it's really shallow on both sides. We are now approaching the Boca Chira harbor entrance. Boca Chira is a very very busy island especially Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Those days, it's almost impossible to find space. Since today is a Thursday, we should be able to get a lot of space there and choose the one you want. But most importantly, this area for dockage is first come, first serve. That's it. All right, guys. I finally arrived here to Boca Chita now. I couldn't get much of the video when I was coming in because I needed uh, to pay attention to the dock and uh, try to uh, uh, tie down and all that. But um, I'll take you around in a little while and show you the whole area here. It's an awesome place to stay the weekend or one day, whatever you like. But it's beautiful here and the weather was awesome all the way through. Had no issues whatsoever. It did take me roughly like an hour and 45, an hour and 50 minutes to get here from Tavernier. Uh, but the ride was smooth and beautiful. So all I can expect this whole weekend is smooth and beautiful. So stay tuned and I hope you like this video. So keep on watching. All right, it's been approximately 25 minutes since I got here. And if you look over there, look at that storm brewing up over there in the mainland everything from downtown miami all the way through uh cutler bay area and you can and it's sounding off so it looks like it's gonna have some uh, thunder too but here it's beautiful the sun is out you can't ask for better all right walking to that little kiosk over there so we can pay for the uh, night stay here you have to pay the dockage i believe it's 35 dollars uh if you stay the night it's, it's free if you stay during the day but you have to leave before six and uh, so we're gonna go check that and i was talking to someone here just a minute ago uh he said that he scanned the little seal there and nothing happened so i, I don't know what the problem is but i'm gonna go check now and i'm gonna show you how it looks like there when you get there let's see yeah, that storm behind me brewing up but according to the radar it looks like it's going away from here instead of over us here all right so here we are and uh, you have to scan that right there with that app and I guess it'll take you to where you're supposed to pay the 35 per night and uh, basically all, all the rest of it just tells you the uh, 
uh, attractions here a little map what you can do and not do and so on and so forth so this is the little area where you pay at and we're getting ready to make our payment for the night all right just did the scan and uh this is asking me for the uh, boat registration number so i have to walk all the way back to the boat because i don't remember the numbers offhand but um that's all it's missing uh it looks like you scan that little seal there that I guess it's a q qr code or something like that um it's 35 dollars for for the night every time you stay here and um and that's for the dockage of the boat and i guess you could uh, have a tent and a uh, tent space here uh, they have designated uh tent space but um yeah i'm just have to get there and uh, put that boat registration and i think we're done hopefully after that we can uh, pay for the night and get a uh, some kind of confirmation so when the park ranger comes in later asking for it uh, i'll have that ready for him all right here we go all right guys i have been already set up we're having a good time here at Ch uh, boca Chira. i was gonna say tavernier key but uh, we go there so often that uh, I always confuse the name. But uh, you, sh you gotta see this. L check out this sunset right here from Boca Rashida. Check that out. That is spectacular. Yeah, we got some cloud cover covering it up now but it, uh, if it, to the real eye it looks red on in camera i think it looks like yellowish orange but it's uh, actually red looking but it's awesome beautiful beautiful and one of the things that i got to tell you about this place is it is super relaxing so so relaxing that uh, time just flies by you don't even know what time it is we have these great people here that uh, helped us when we came in they even offers food I mean what what better than that you come to the place like this and everybody is so friendly everywhere and there's only one two three four five six seven eight boat with mine here uh, tomorrow Friday it's a different story because everybody comes Friday and they try to get here early to get the limited space of dockage they have here which usually fits I believe like 20 boats but the good thing is you could double dock them but not more than two everything else is what you have right here what an awesome place to come I highly recommend it And uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention here is that uh, in this trip here, usually what I do, since I'm going to be out here for several days, I buy uh, two or three little slabs of dry ice. And what I do is I put it all the way in the bottom, all three tablets, and then I put a cardboard, piece of cardboard over the dry ice. And then on top of the cardboard, I pour regular ice. And uh, what I did is I poured like uh, three bags of regular ice and I have a fourth one that I didn't even get to open, which is right here. And uh, everything keeps super cold. And what I'm expecting is for it to last at least three days. So let's see how that works. We'll give you more updates on that. All right. And, uh, and here we've already set up and cleaned up a little bit because uh, I've had so many things in here and I just had them scattered around everywhere I'll be sleeping there tonight I had to put the uh, the uh, screens on all the ports here because there's no seams and they're all over the place and uh, even though I spray bug spray all the way around the boat but you still get 
a lot of them and um, it controls them a little bit but it, it wasn't it hasn't been that bad I've expected worse because a lot of people are saying that the mosquitoes here are just super out of control and um, today I really don't see them that bad I feel some no see them, but mosquitoes I haven't seen one I haven't felt one and the wind right now is like you could say zero there's no wind blowing at the moment and that's when it's really worse that's the time that they all come out including mosquitoes but uh, other than that just the no see them so it's been the problem uh, and it's not continuous it's like here and there you'll get one biting you but uh, other than that it's beautiful I can't complain this is an awesome place to be I don't know about you, but when you make a sandwich, tuna sandwich, in the boat, in the middle of nowhere, it tastes a hundred times better than any one that I've ever done at home. Oh my God, love it. Mm. All right, little report on the bugs here on the island. Um, earlier during the day, I didn't feel anything. Uh, at, when the sun came down, uh, some of the no seams started bothering here and there not continuous but you know there were here and there at around 9 30 uh, p.m mosquitoes uh, they started coming out everywhere i guess they released the hatch and they're all over the place um i do have uh off spray on me the deep woods which is recommended for things like this and i haven't had any problems getting bitten by mosquitoes here um, I, all the hatches I had to put the the little uh, screen on all of them I have like uh, one two three four five of them and um, that helps keep them out of here and um, one of the issues that I had today is that uh, I loaded the um, cooler and that thing weighs over a hundred pounds of stuff that I have there for for the next four days and um, my air conditioning the uh, valve for the uh, water intake is inside my engine compartment and uh, so I have no access to it because I can't move the uh, cooler uh, out of the way there because it weighs like 150 pounds so I have no AC. Oh no, oh no, oh no. But it isn't that bad. Uh, I have a little fan here that um, cools down, so it's fine. Uh, other than that, everything else is awesome. I still love the place no matter what. Mosquitoes and no CMs and no AC and all. I still love it here. Hope you guys enjoy. And we're getting ready to hit that sack. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free, and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.